it was like why couldn't you release music because i was stuck in a contract mm -hmm. so well, let's talk about that well you were stuck yeah. in the contract signed <laughs> a bad deal couldn't get out you waited to get out yeah i did it was two years mm -hmm. Jeez, how and, and how did you finally get out of that deal yeah, I had to pay a bank. Yeah, call. you gotta pay. What and happened? I, who was the Who was the label? Ah, uh, some local shit. Oh, got you, got you. Yeah, got you. um, you I think legally you can't even really say their. Yeah, I can't even say their name legally. I don't even want to. I'm over it. Yeah, I found peace in the situation. It was fucked up though, because <laughs> it was, <laughs> no, it was really fucked what, up because it was like I was releasing music and it will seem like okay, it's about to happen for Cash Doll, and then. It's gone. They pull it off the YouTube and it's, streams and I'm all I'm talking about they even took it off Facebook, my nigga. Like, it was nowhere. Like, I couldn't put music nowhere. I wonder why, though, especially if they was making money off they, it. That's the thing. It, it had to be more than just the money. It'd be in petty, it, spiting it was, you. It was spiteful. Well, you learned, you learned the lesson <laughs> about yeah. God, too. Nothing can stop what God has planned for exactly, a person. Exactly, exactly. And that's what I, you know what? Like, because if I didn't have, and it, it learned me, it, it taught me how to surround myself with the right people because mm -hmm. I could have killed, I could have went crazy. Right. But, I needed those people around me to keep my spirits up and keep me going. Cause you know how like when you, when you get your heart broken, that feeling, it's like I felt like that for every day for two years. Right. Like waking up like, oh, I can't do nothing. Like I can't put out nothing. I love. This is my passion. Yeah. It yeah. was the worst feeling and ever. Mary J. Like, Blige don't make it feel better because it's not a heartbreak like that. It ain't that type of because yeah, nothing yeah, yeah. you can do about mm -hmm. it. You, it's nothing you can do about it. You put out something, it's gonna get taken down. You know, it's just fucked up. Right. And then I, I just really don't want no, no other artist to sign any papers without having a lawyer. Don't believe what to nobody... The mic, to the mic, to the mic. Oh, like you can't believe what nobody say. You can't buy these dreams a person is telling you just because they saying that they're going to give you a certain amount of money and they have these connections. Because I'm going to be honest, it wasn't all about the money when we signed it. I thought they had the resources because mm -hmm. I used to be an exotic dancer, so I still had money saved up. I'm thinking they had the resources. I'm like, all right, so shit, you gonna be able to do this, do this, and get my shit played on this and this and that, da da. All right, bet mm -hmm. I'm with it. They couldn't do it. That's the record industry, though. I mean, you ain't the first person to get jerked, and you're not gonna be the last, sadly. Man, that shit. I hope after this they hear, they see this and don't do the shit. Oh no, that's the record. <laughs> let's, let's be real. That's the record industry way. Mm -hmm. They jerk artists. That's what they do. So you signed local, a new deal. independent, don't matter. Yeah, I, She's I, I signed Republic. a new deal. I'm with Republic. Yeah. Now you didn't stay. Why, why didn't you say independent after b dealing with the label process and all that stuff before? I say, you know what? I'll just do this myself. No, because they had my back, and I wanted to uh, like because I'm doing it myself. I had that time when I first came out, like in 2014. I had that me time, mm -hmm. you know, and I I need a little you structure. Want a team. I mm -hmm. need I need a structure. I need stability. I need a team. And I was just ready to go to the next level. They, they even though it was like so many other labels reaching out, reaching out to sign me, it's like they they stuck by my side. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And they even helped me mm -hmm. out the situation. So I was like, all right. I'm I remember hearing them. that Drake was trying to get you out of your label situation. Yeah, Drake. Yeah, he was trying to help me too. Go yeah. ahead, Drake. Yeah, Drake a real nigga. What was he doing? What you mean? Like, what was he doing? Like, how was he trying to help you get out? No, I just he came to uh, Detroit the summer sixteen tour, mm -hmm. and um, we just kicked it about my situation. He was like, "Well, just let me know how I can help, you know, help you get out of it." And at the time, I didn't even know how I could help myself get out of it mm -hmm. until I dropped my song for everybody, and then that's when my money started coming. I right. snuck that song out, but they they took it down. But it was so good, and it was out to where oh, let me know. Let me tell you this. So YouTube. I got a, finally got to deal with YouTube with Omnia where you have to go through them in order to take my stuff down. Mm -hmm. It wasn't like you could just hit my account, strike my account and come down. Gotcha. So I finally had to deal with YouTube and then YouTube was arguing with them back and forth. And then I'm like, well, well the lawyer told them, like, tell them until we're done with litigations, then we could take it down or keep it up. But right now, no. Stay so up. I'm like, hell yeah. It stayed up only on YouTube, though. Streaming service and all that, it was taken right. down. So I haven't had music streaming in two fucking years. That video was... Even now? No, now. Oh, oh, no, I'm, on. Back then. I'm here. I'm on this bitch. I'm in this bitch.